Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation for the addition rule or actually some extra practice for the addition rule. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoints to make this set of videos to help students learn more about the probability about probability and the addition rule. Let's jump right in to example one. We have 239 people order at a restaurant's lunch food bar. 57 people select tacos. 102 people select pizza. 35 people select tacos and pizza. If one person is selected at random, find the probability that the person will select tacos or pizza. Use the Venn diagram for A and B use the addition rule formula. So we will solve this using both techniques to solve the problem. We'll let T be the orders tacos and P for ordering pizza. A. Let's solve this using the Venn diagram. First step is to draw your box and your two circles. T for tacos, P for pizza. Remember, we fill in the circles where they overlap first. Always the first step in using a Venn diagram. Remember, the overlap is the intersection and the AND. Can you see me doing the air quotes here? It's the AND part. So we're looking for tacos and pizza. That's 35 people selecting tacos and pizza. So we'll put that 35 in the center where the overlap is. 57 people select tacos. So the total for the taco circle must be 57. So 57 minus the 35 we already have gives us 22. So 22 plus 35 gives us the total of 57. So we have so far matched all the conditions of our problem. We have 35 in the overlap and a total of 57 in the taco circle. 102 people select pizza. The total for the pizza circle must be 102. We already have 35 people in the pizza circle. Subtracting 35 from 102 leaves us 67. 35 plus 67 gives us the total of 102 for the pizza, 35 in the overlap. Now, there were 239 people that ordered at the restaurant. 239 minus 22 minus 35 minus 67 will give us 115 people who did not order either the tacos or the pizza. They ordered something else. So we want to find the probability of taco or pizza. Shade the taco or pizza event, which Miss Borlaug has done here for us in yellow. That would be 22 plus 35 plus 67. All over the grand total of our sample space, not 115, not any of the other numbers, that's 239. That would be 0.5188. And remember, just use your calculator for this. For the B part, we will use the addition rule formula. The probability of taco or pizza is the probability of taco plus the probability of pizza minus the probability of taco and pizza. The probability of taco would be 57 divided by 239 plus the probability of pizza would be 102 over the 239 
minus the probability of taco and pizza, again subtracting out the ones that we counted twice. So that would be minus 35 over 239. And again, that gives us 0.5188. It is now time to look at an exercise for you to try. Here are two more. Thank you for watching this one part of I'm not sure what I was trying to say. Thank you for watching this video on some additional practice of the addition rule for probability. If you need some additional help and are a Walter State student, please come by and see me in the math lab in MBSS room 222. And as always, thank you.